Blessings, blessings, blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm so excited to have your space this day from wherever you're connecting from. God bless you. I have a word of admonishment and encouragement to the church today. The Lord asked me to tell his church to abide in him. Abide in him because when you abide in Christ, you remain relevant. You are blessed. You bear much fruit. For without God, you are nothing. Without God, you can do nothing. John chapter 15. I'll be reading from verse 1. And listen as I read the word of God. From verse 1. I am the vine. And my father is the husband man. Jesus is speaking. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. The father taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it so that it can bear much fruit. So every branch that bears fruit, God will keep on renewing it, purging it, removing anything that is not right. And it will bear more and more fruit. Verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken of you. Through the word of God, you are being renewed. You are being cleaned. You are being cleansed. You are made the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus, through his word. Verse 4 now says, Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No one can bear can no no more can ye bear except ye abide in me the same way a branch cannot bear fruit except it abides in the tree it abides in the in 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 the vine the same way you cannot bear fruit except you abide in christ except you are in christ dog in him deep rooted in him Okay, that's what the word of God says. So without God, you are nothing. Outside of God, you will not survive in the name of Jesus. And if you go to verse 5, it says, I am the vine and you are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bring forth much fruits. For without me, you can do nothing. God is telling you this day, Jesus Christ, the Savior, is telling you this day, beloved, that you must abide in him and he too must abide in you because if you don't abide in him, you can do nothing. You cannot bear fruits. You cannot be relevant. You cannot be. You cannot make him part. You'll be as good as useless. Just like when a branch is cut off from, from the vine, it becomes useless. The same way if you are cut off from the presence of God, from the glory of God, from, from, the, from the supremacy of God, you are as well useless and cannot bear any fruit. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered, and men shall gather him and cast him into the fire, and they shall be burned. When you don't abide in God, you will be removed, you will be detached. You'll be detached and you'll be gathered together with other branches that are also useless and cast to be burnt. And the same way, those that are not abiding in God, abiding in Christ, have not given their lives to God, have not surrendered to God, they will be gathered on the last day and they will be burnt in the lake of hell where there is weeping and gnashing of teeth. Where there is eternal, eternal damnation, where there is eternal destruction, where there, where is not, is not a good place for you, beloved. Abide in Christ, abide in the Lord, so that on the last day you will have the crown of glory, and you will have your place in the kingdom of God, and you have your place in heaven. The Lord will take you back to be with Him in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, listen to verse 6. I'll read for you. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch. is withered, and men will gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words in you, you shall ask what you will, and it will be done 
unto you. So if you abide in God, when you make your request known, because you've been making your request in accordance to the will of God, when you make your request known to God, God will surely hear. God will surely answer because he knows that this one belongs to me. This one is part of me. This one is in me. This one is deeply rooted in me and in my words. Because when you're, the word of God is deep rooted in you, you will, you, you will show for the glory of God. Whatever you ask will be in accordance to the will and the word of God. And you make, you make great impact for the Lord in the name of Jesus. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Continue in my love. I just want to encourage somebody today. The Lord loves you. And as you love him, as you love Jesus, continue in his word. Abide with him. Continue to bear fruit in him. On your own, you are nothing. On your own, you cannot do it. Remain steadfast in the Lord and let your light so shine that men shall see your good works in the Father and give God all the glory for your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, abide in the vine. Remain that faithful servant and child of God. In Jesus' mighty name, continue to abide, receive the grace, receive the strength, receive the power, the ability to abide in Him. For in Him, there is life. In Him, there is blessings. In Him, there is eternal life. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. God bless you. Remain blessed. Remain lifted in the mighty name of Jesus. I remain your humble sister, woman of God, prophetess. I remain the servant to the mighty man of war. My name is Prophetess Angel Nena Kalu, the wife of the senior pastor, Heroes of Grace Ministries International. His name is Prophet Kalu Wama, and we are in South Africa. The name of our ministry is Heroes of Grace Ministries International. Keep on following us. Follow all our social media platforms. Your life can never remain the same. Make sure you subscribe also to our YouTube channel for more in Christ, for more spiritual spiritual inspirations for more spiritual for more spiritual empowerment so that you can remain in the will of the father and at the last day make heaven to the glory of the father in jesus mighty name amen shalom and see you on my next video in jesus name amen remain in christ abide in the lord and him in you in jesus name amen love you all shalom